Hello folks, it's me again, VB7200, and today we are looking at my newest kind of addition to my little, uh, well not really, it's not really a collection yet, but I kind of want to start collecting these things, which are shelf stereo, especially the older ones. Um, the newer ones I really don't mind, care for, I mean, I like them, they sound really good, they have a lot of features that I like, but for like aesthetic purposes, they're pretty much boring. Take example of this sharp here. The sharp's got all these crazy lights and stuff going on. You can see the equalizers and stuff. Then you look up at my Sony. Just one boring little display. It does look nice, though. It does have a lot of features that I actually use. But this one's just a little dated. But back in the 90s and mid early 2000s, they had all these crazy displays. They just look nice. Um, AOA and Sharp being kind of one of them that I prefer. But... Um, so basically, I actually found this in a trash, not a trash dump, more like actually in front of someone's house. They're throwing it out, I really don't know why. At first, I thought, because these things are hanging out like this, I thought they broke, so they were a nuisance to them, so I just wanted to get rid of them. But I figured out that they do close perfectly fine. So... Um, you get two speakers, it came with both of them, it came with all the wires and stuff. The only thing it didn't come with is the AM and FM antenna. But it's time. FM seems to be coming in fine. Usually, you don't really need the antennas. Um, it just kind of helps with signal clarity and stuff like that. Um, the one thing I did notice is if these, if the lines will start coming up again here. Yeah, music kind of needs to be playing. I'll get back to that, but I'll show you once I get a song on here. Um, basically, this readout there, you can see it right there. It looks like this readout favors this speaker. I don't know why. I don't know if there's a equalizer setting that needs to be changed, or if the speaker's bad, this speaker's kind of starting to die, or whatever. But, I don't know. But it does sound good nonetheless. It really doesn't sound... It doesn't sound too bad, especially for its age. I'm guessing this is from 99 to like 2000, 2001 maybe, somewhere in there. It is the three disc CD changer, so it's not just one little CD changer. Like my Sony up there that has a CD player, but not three of them. This was really common in a lot of these older ones. They have these giant CD racks, three being a common number. Some of them had two. I think some of them even had five, if I remember. But as you can see here, you can skip your, your disc and it just rotates your tray. You have all your CDs. If you're into CDs, definitely look for one of these older ones because they have that disc changing thing. Newer ones really don't have those. If you're looking for like good quality, I believe Sharp and like Panasonic do still sell ones with disc changers built in. But you're, it's gonna be hard to find. So also, if you're into tapes, you have your dual tape decks. You can hold two tapes in there. Really, they're just for convenience, so you don't have to keep switching tapes or put more in there. That's what it, really what the disc changer is for. You can just pick it on here that I actually have to take the disc out and load it. It really, you can't play two of them at a time, but it's, you know, you can do that. By the way, the model on this is the CDC3900. If you're interested in looking for one or something like that on eBay. Um, so basically looking at the display here, you have your disc tray up here like I just showed you. It opens and closes smoothly, except on the end there, it kind of slows up, but that's probably just with age. You have your primary display here, which shows your volume when you're turning your volume up and down. Shows what station you're on, all that good stuff, what disc you're on. Um, it has an X bass feature, which as you can see right there, which basically is like a bass booster. It's like a bass equalizer, basically. Um, you have a timer sleep clock button right there. I'm not sure what the clock does. It really just flashes clock. Holding it doesn't do anything. Yeah, it really just does clock, but whatever. So, this is actually, oh, besides that, there's a little power button right here. When you press turn it off, I'll show you what it does. When it's plugged in, it just goes through this uh, demo, which is what you can do. That's what demo is for. You press this button here, turns it on and off. If you want it to do that when it's off, it's pretty cool just really to look at. It has memory, apparently. I didn't actually see that. Oh, yeah, presets right there. Um, so, we'll turn it back on. We'll go through some of the features here that it has. You have this little function. This is actually kind of ingenious right here, this little function wheel right here. Instead of cycling through on the display, you have a little wheel that does your functions. Right now, it's lit up on tuning, 
or band, which is what they just kind of call them, uh, tuner for some reason. Uh, you have your CD, which press that. It loads through all your CDs. As you can see up here, this little loading bar, just kind of neat effects. There's no CDs in there. It's going to check them all. Make sure there's not one in there. I haven't checked if it plays CDs yet, mainly because I actually don't have any CDs on hand at the moment. I did have a bunch of them, but I don't know what I did with them. I'll look for it and see if it works. Uh, you can go to tape, which is these things down here again. And you can go to video aux, which is actually pretty cool. Um, the auxiliary is not what you're thinking of. Um, yeah, let's see, it's not, it just says video. Basically, you, if you had, like, uh, uh, the only example I can think of is, like, a VCR or something like that. Basically, when you have turtle beaches, um, for, like, a PS3 or something, to get sound to the turtle beaches, you had to plug in the auxiliary cables, or your uh, component audio with the red and white ones, as you can see right there. Which is what this thing has. So that's auxiliary. It is not the three, <clears throat> the three and a half millimeter jack, which it does actually have. However, that's just a headphone port that you can't actually play music through that. So I saw that aux. I was like, wait a minute, it just have an aux port. It's too old. It doesn't have that. But it technically does have aux if you have a. Um, I guess you could technically get like a splitter, a 3.5 millimeter jack, or not a splitter, a, a transfer thing, whatever, to, to that and actually play aux off your phone. I don't see why not, but they probably you probably find out there. So then back to tuner. You have this big ring in the middle here, which I honestly it's not a ring. I don't really know what it does. Um, I thought all these buttons would light up maybe, but they really don't. The only thing that lights up is this and this volume knob here. But you have multi-function, which really is only two functions. It does stop and play. Um, the stop and play buttons light up, actually, when you're in CD mode. You can see. I'm going to stay in FM, just have the screens so you guys can look at that. Um, You can do play right there, stop, presets. I have not figured out how to program oh memory so is that preset one now yep I think so yeah so press it and then hold it you have record and pause which um if I I believe my Sony one can do this as well basically I don't know if that rips like radio to a CD or a tape or something like that it might I'm not sure, but that's what my Sony can do that. And you have your X space on and off button, which is base off, base on, and that big X space thing comes up in there. And all that is is like a bass equalizer. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. And you have your tuning, which will just go up in increments of one. There's no like, yeah, there's no um, uh, fast forward or seek button. For That's kind of odd. But here's your volume knob, as you see me use multiple times. You have your EQ, heavy two, vocal, soft one, soft two, flat, heavy, and then back to heavy one. Heavy and heavy, two, heavy one and two, I think, are just different levels of like the volume that it kind of raises. But that's really it. There's really nothing else to show on it besides the speakers. <clears throat> I guess we could look at the back actually. Um, just pull this guy out here. Put the camera down. Sorry. You have screws, it indicates screw holes and stuff like that. You have your, um, now my, uh, I actually lost FM signal. I don't know if I mentioned or not, but this actually does not have an FM or AM antenna. I have a bunch, I have antennas like that laying around that I could throw in there, but it really don't see the point. It sounds good. You know, this thing, CD digital out, which I'm not actually sure what that is. Oh, that is a, um, that's an, like a digital out or optical out I'm not sure let me see if there's a year on this anywhere I don't see a year huh 
Oh well, it's pretty neat. So, thanks for watching, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe if you want to see more in the future.